Cameron Jordan here on the Rich Eisen Show. The latest word uh, in the world of collective bargaining between mm. the players and ownership is that the NFL has put on yes the CBA that the players uh, that the owners have put on the table the concept of an 18 game schedule, but you're already laughing. Six, <laughs> but but they're only going to make you play 16 games. That somehow you figure out you don't play two of the 18. How would that even work? Have we talked about this? So you you have. So people come to a game to watch Drew Brees throw to Michael Thomas to throw, you know, AK take off from the backfield or catch out of the backfield. Um, uprising stars to play. You've got starters that are only going to play for 16 games. If you present 18 games, I'm like, that's going to be a terrible idea. And for how does that even work? I'm like, oh, I'm going to take these two weeks off. Like mm, week eight through 10, I'm going to take off. Eight, nine, I guess I'm going to take off. As a, as a competitor, as an ultimate competitor, I never want to be off the field. So you're not going to tell me I'm not going to be out of a game, especially when I have my brothers who we go to go through training camp with or, you know, people that you bleed, sweat, and win with. You're not going to tell me I'm going to be out for two whole games. It's not going to happen. So now I'm playing 18 games, and is there compensation for this? It brings in too many aspects. 18 games, but you only have to play 16? I don't know how it would work, to yeah. be honest with you. And I, there is there is talk that quarterbacks might be exempt from this, that they would play all 18 games mm. because they're already, if you will, protected enough. Mm. Uh, I don't understand how it would work. All I know is that I would it would mess – if a quarterback has now an 18-game schedule, it would mess with the history books. It would just mess with everything No doubt. That's two extra games. But I would assume you would be compensated for it in the matter that more revenue comes in and the Players Association get a cut of that revenue. I'm assuming that that's the way it would work. Drew would throw for 6,000 yards instead of 5,000 yards. It's Boy, you're giving him 500 yards a game for those extra two games, huh? I mean, that's incredible. That's very yeah, impressive. Why not? I know you think he's, you know, great, but I mean, that's, I'm just, I'm just simply saying, if you start fifty three hundred, I'm really just giving him six. I mean, I, 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 so now we're really just giving three twenty a game. No, it's, but by the way, never. I wouldn't put it past him. He's, he's the all time leader in four hundred yard games and five, I'm five hundred yard. I'm just throwing off the top of my head. I bet he is the all time leader, right. In five hundred yard. I would say he's throwing for three hundred yards. So, like I said, I'm really just giving him a seven hundred yard breakdown. Two games of three fifty. Just, while just we're, while we're sticking just real briefly on, on the business of things, are you hearing anything that there's a CBA conversation going um, on? You, honestly, is there anything you can share here? <laughs> honestly, I've heard rumbles and talks, but at this point, it's all it's all just hearsay. Um, you know, I'm sure when we get our NFLPA rep, uh, we'll talk to Craig Robertson. You know, we'll talk to Ernie Conwell. We'll talk to all of our guys uh, that's inclusive in these in, in the NFLPA. Um, and we'll be more knowledgeable about it. At this point, I don't think there's anything cemented. So I'm sort of, I'm sort of just like wait, wait till sure. something happens. Wait to wait and see. For more of the Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on Directv for free on BR Live, or download the Rich Eisen Show app.